time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good Monday morning, Utah. Time is currently 614 on this Pioneer Day. We'll take a live look outside down in St. George. Absolutely beautiful sunrise about to be underway. Already have that nice glow on the left hand side of your screen. That is absolutely beautiful. But what that sunrise doesn't tell you is how warm it is already down in St. George as we're currently sitting at 82 degrees with a southeasterly breeze coming in at 8 miles per hour while we have a little bit more cloud coverage on the Wasat front as we're also sitting at 82 degrees in Salt Lake City. So most of us this morning are waking up with temperatures in the 60s and 70s, but St. George and Salt Lake City definitely two of the warmer spots with the south southeasterly wind at 11 miles per hour and that dew point temperature at 51. There's a little bit of humidity in the air this morning and by this afternoon there will be potential for isolated showers and thunderstorms, but for today, the heat does stick around. Thankfully, though, it just won't be quite as hot compared to recent days, but that doesn't mean don't take the heat lightly because we still have we still have excessive heat warnings and heat advisories in place through nine o'clock this evening. The bulk of the Wasatch Front in northwestern Utah still included with an excessive heat warning as we could see daytime highs range as high as 103 this afternoon, while the heat advisories include the West Desert over towards Utah County, the swell and the western Canyonlands as we could see daytime highs in these areas reach anywhere between 98 and 103 as well. And the the excessive heat warning that you see down in Lake Powell those daytime highs today could reach as high as 105. So today, mainly this afternoon into this evening, make sure that you're taking those necessary precautions to beat the heat if you have any plans to be outside for a while. Those daytime highs still going to be in the 90s and triple digits for most outside of the high country where we'll see daytime highs mainly top out in the 80s, but we'll go ahead and zoom things in here so you can get a better perspective of those daytime highs across the state. We'll see a daytime high of 101 in Salt Lake City, 89 degrees in Park City, and for those of you in the Uinta Basin, mid to upper 90s as we get to a daytime high of 90 in Manila. Then down in central Utah, 93 for Emory, 94 in Gunnison, 104 in Green River, then down in southern Utah will top out at 95 in Blanding, 105 in Lake Powell, 85 for Bryce Canyon, and pretty seasonal down in St. George with a daytime high of 104. Things this morning have started off relatively calm, even though we do have that little bit of cloud coverage. There are a few showers, though, over in the west desert and over towards the southern portion of the swell in the western canyonlands. As we get from this morning into the afternoon, though, there will be potential for those isolated showers and thunderstorms no matter where you are across the state. Not everybody finds wet weather, but with that potential, Make sure that you keep your eyes in the sky just in case. Not necessarily expecting any severe storms, but a few strong storms can't be completely ruled out. And for those of you heading down to Zion, Bryce Canyon, and Capitol Reef, keep in mind, flash flooding today is more of a probability rather than possibility. Probably one of those days that you want to hold off on those backcountry hikes, especially ones that involve slot canyons. And we also have the potential of seeing flash flooding at the swell, the staircase, and down around Lake Powell towards the Glen Canyon Recreation Area. Let's go ahead and time things out for you on the future cast. Begin things at 9 o'clock this morning, right around parade time, and the bulk of the shower activity is still likely going to be over in the West Desert. But don't be surprised if you have a few sprinkles around in some of the parades this morning. Then as we get into the early stretches of this afternoon, most of us still going to be on the dry side of things before we start to get into the heart of the afternoon. This shows at 4 o'clock, showers and thunderstorms mainly developing over the high country with a slight chance still in our valleys. But then from late this afternoon into this evening, we're going to have that better chance of seeing those showers and thunderstorms down in our valleys before things begin to calm down as we go into the overnight hours as we lose that daytime heating. Then for our Tuesday, we basically do it all over again. We're just likely not going to see as much wet weather tomorrow compared to what we're going to see out there for today. As for St. George, we have the potential for those isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly from this afternoon to this evening. A slight chance on Tuesday, then for the rest of the week and into this weekend. Highs ranging anywhere from 105 to 108 with overnight lows in the mid to upper 70s. Then along the Wasat front, that isolated storm potential as well, with a slight chance holding on Tuesday and Wednesday. And through the middle of the week, daytime highs mainly in the upper 90s, which is a little bit closer to seasonal average. It's still going to be hot outside, and we'll still hang around 100 degrees as we head into this upcoming weekend as we look at mostly dry conditions.